Hey guys, here we are with The X-Files Season 1, Episode 21, and in the last episode, um, well really in the later episodes of Season 1 is when it gets really, really good. Um, so in the last episode, um, it was, they went into this like wilderness, forest, whatever you want to call it. And, um, there was quite a few like workers that were being like killed and cocooned, um, and basically was these insects that like lived in these really old trees. Um, and so it was a great episode. All of the X-Files are really good episodes. Don't get me wrong, but like, especially the ones that are like closer to the end of season one. They just hit a little bit different. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. I can't remember. Have we? Do we know who this guy is? We do. I thought the name sounded familiar. Guy with his freaking creepy eyes. You'd think they have more precautions put into place. For someone like him. I feel like he's about to get his hand slapped. Eugene's Dr. Monty. Eugene's gone. Are you asleep? No. Oh. You nervous about tomorrow? Don't be. What's happening tomorrow? I know you think they won't let you out. Hmm. So I snuck a peek what, at Pearl? the reports of the doctors that will testify at your review tomorrow. What, is he going to try to escape before then? We have reviewed your reports, and frankly, we are quite displeased. Oh. Irregular procedure, untenable evidence, anonymous witnesses, inconclusive findings aggravated by vague opinion. On X-Files cases investigated by Agent Mulder and myself to date, we have a conviction or case solution of 75% that's well above the current Bureau standard. Mm. And that is your only saving grace. May I ask, sir, what more you require? What an asshole. Eugene Victor Toombs. We'll begin with the court appointed expert. That name even witnesses. sounds creepy. The court calls Dr. Pamela Koretsky. Mm. Agent Mulder, I understand that you've drawn upon can your be there? and developed a profile on Mr. Toombs. I guess legally yes, she can if there was no charges pressed. Please. He needs one more victim to complete this cycle. Your Honor. A preliminary exam done at the time of Toombs' arrest revealed Agent abnormalities Mulder. in his striated muscles and axial bones. His They're not going to allow this. Study. Thank you, Agent Mulder. I ask you to place the safety Counsel? of the people first no and foremost. Questions. This is a Agent rare Mulder. and abnormal human creature. Agent should not Mulder. Be released, He's not helping study. himself. You may step down. If you release Eugene Toombs, he will kill again. Do you think they would have taken me more seriously if I wore the gray suit? Uh, He's so funny. Mulder, your testimony, you sounded so... I don't care how it sounded, as long as it was the truth. They're ready. It is They're going to the let him out. of this court that Eugene Victor Toombs shall on this day be released from the Druid yep. Hill Sanitarium. And last, that he take residence in the house of Mr. and Mrs. Arlen Green, trained in a program to assist patients released from Druid Hill in their transition to society. Mr. Toombs... What family would allow that? Do you understand and accept these conditions? Mulder, that's going to entail unorthodox methods of investigation. Look, Scully, if you're resistant... Going to get her in trouble. ...you don't believe, I'll respect that. But if you're resistant because of some bureaucratic pressure, they've not only reeled you in, they've already skinned you. Yep. Fucking smirk. I hope you'll be comfortable, Eugene. Ew. 
Surely he knows that guy's gonna be like... Or Mulder is gonna be watching him. Ew. Is he actually gonna try not to attack her though? Excuse me. Oh. Could you help me find my dog? Mm. Yeah, I remember that guy. I am positive the tombs hid this one victim because there was something about the body that could prove he was the killer. And what makes you positive? A hunch. An old-fashioned hunch. Mm. You've got to trust your instincts. And yep. what does your instinct say about where tombs buried the body? In the cement where they poured the foundation of the chemical plant. Differentiate. Mm -hmm. You mean he guesses? Well, it's an educated guess. Still a guess. Mm. What's he up to? Dang, that dude's got wide shoulders. Surely, surely those are shoulder pads. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it is. Is that bone? Yeah, with what? A wedding ring? He's not in there. He might be in the house already. The child lock on smart Ew. the van gone yep I bet so huh Figured. Yeah, that sandwich that I threw me. It's liverwurst. Eh. A request for other agents to stake out tombs would be denied. To them, we have no grounds. Well, then allow Scully to do it. Fox. <laughs> and I, I even made my parents call me Mulder. So. Yeah. He's never really called him by his first name before. Mulder, I wouldn't put myself on the line for anybody but you. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, shit. He probably shouldn't have went on that walk. I bet that's why he, when he went in there. Or he could have gone, like, through his pipes. And, like, up through the sewer or whatever. Does she know? How does he know when he's sleeping and not? Hmm. What's he doing? Yeah, they found him out cold in the street. Oh, he's trying he to get revenge. Contusions, multiple lacerations. That's what he's doing. Shoulders been pulled right out of joint. Yeah, I want to get a photo of that. We might be able to find the shoe that Too obvious. Do you know who did this to you? Agent Mulder? Yeah. Hmm. You're in some trouble. Hmm. He knows. Mulder, are you suggesting Tombs is framing you? Yep. Of course. If indeed you were engaged in an unauthorized round-the-clock surveillance of Tombs, how could he possibly gain access to your shoe without you seeing him? Agent Scully, you wouldn't be lying to me, would you? Mm. Sir, I would expect you to place the same trust in me as I do in you. Oh, nice. 
Agent Scully, may I have a word with Agent Mulder, please? Clear your head. Take an extended vacation. That's a good idea. Thanks for your concern. Hmm. Is he gonna do it? Mulder. This was close. Too close. Any closer than a thousand friends of the capital won't be able to help you. Are we starting to make another, like, nest or whatever? You know, art can provide a window to your thoughts and your feelings. Oh. What are you doing, Eugene? Eugene? Are you all right? Gonna kill the doctor. Hmm. That makes five. He's gotta be here. Is that a mall? He's drawn to this location for some reason. Maybe this nest is in the approximate location of the previous nest. There's a storage facility on the second floor. Is there anything below it? Yep, what I say. Yep. So gross. Ooh. Quick, grab my hand. He's not gonna make it. You don't have to worry about him anymore. The caterpillar? Mm. No, a change for us. That guy always creeped me out. I had a feeling as soon as we saw the name and I'm like, mm, have we seen this guy before? And then sure enough, I knew the yellow eyes. Well, at least he's gone now, though. I think most of these episodes, and I think I've said this before, and it may even have been the last episode of this one, where it seems like there's definitely, like, m there could be more incidences after, like, that specific episode. And that's, like... Honestly, with each and every one of these episodes, like, another one could happen. Like, there could be a prequel just to that specific um, episode. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I guess not this one because he died. But, I mean, theoretically, I guess they could still kind of do one and then just say that there's another person out there that's kind of like Tombs. But, yeah, anyway crazy Alrighty, and if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one please feel free to check out the patreon and the link in the description below and if you will for me please like comment and subscribe and i shall see you in the next episode